Hi, I'm Neil. And I'm Fanny. We are Team Teacher. Teaching, living, and raising a family in China. Today, we're going to look at sexual health in China. Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sex education and attention to sexual health in my home country is becoming increasingly less taboo and just an awkward conversation nowadays. Sex education is taught in school and there are a variety of awareness campaigns, especially in universities, to promote safe sex and overall sexual health. As expats, we often take this for granted, uh, this growing mindfulness and openness towards sex. We tend to think that everyone has the same approach as back home, however that isn't always the case and that's something expats don't always consider. In China, there is little to no sex education in schools and with censorship, it's hard for locals to find information online if they want to educate themselves. Don't get me wrong, China is experiencing a sexual revolution and it's opening up, but it's still a very conservative country. This lack of access to sex education leads to poor sex safety and health choices uh, by the locals. With that in mind, it's likely not a surprise that of the 350 million individuals worldwide infected with the Hep B virus, HPV, one third reside in China. There's a Hepatitis B uh, epidemic in China, uh, which is often unspoken uh, locally. And that's why HPV is on the recommended vaccination list by the CDC. We recommend that you get the vaccines that protect yourself as much as you can and to take the lead in safe sex. Contraceptive condoms are available in most stores to fit all sizes, but you can bring your own if you have a favorite brand. Remember that condoms are the only means to protect yourself from HIV, AIDS, which is another major issue within China with over uh, 1 million uh, Chinese living with HIV. For women, it's recommended you bring your own contraception as the language barrier can make obtaining it here quite awkward. Check the link in the box below for Chinese character translations of popular contraception. Apart from protecting your sexual health, you should also consider how dating is different here in China. There isn't so much of the same dating culture as back home, and dating can be quite traditional. Don't assume that you are on the same wavelength. Uh, be open and frank about what you want, and you will come across as respectful. And make it easier for both of you to get on the same page. Remember, keep safe. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video about sexual health in China. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to us and leave any comments that you might have. Bye-bye. Hi. -bye. Hi.